I'm going to go through how to find the term position. So say you have an arithmetic sequence here, so it goes as such. Uh, they also haven't given you any information about the nth term formula. Um, and they want you to find the position of 81. So uh, we know that this is the first term, second term, third term, fourth term, something, 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 x term. And remember that the letter n in the nth term formula refers to the term position. So your n, your n's are here. So if we write the formula down, the thing we're trying to find is the term position. So position, which is n. Because remember when you substitute, the n is what tells you the position of the number. So if I want u1, it uh, say u5, it means I want the fifth number, so I'm going to put 5 in there. Um, so in this case, it's pretty simple. You just use the first formula. Now, either you, you need to go through um, a series of questions in your head. Can I, can I find it from here? Is it easy to do? Does it make sense to keep on adding until I get to 81? No, that's time consuming. But you do have a formula that could help you with that. Um, so you have you have u n equals we know the first term so that's negative three plus n minus one so that's the n we're trying to find and the difference now we know the difference the difference is just adding four every time okay so the difference is four now the position we need to find is I've used x just because. Um, Let's keep n for the actual formula. Oops. Um, so we're going to use x. And then the position, the term at that specific position is 81. So that's an important distinction to make. So ux, or u in that position, we don't know is 81. So use this part of the information, use this thing that you sh uh, want to know, is that I want to know the position of 81. Um, in a normal situation, you know the position, you plug it in, you simplify it, and it will give you 81. So make sure you're matching all the correct values. So negative 3 here, 4 here, 81 here. Um, and that's it, you just solve it like a normal equation. You go negative three, and then again, as I explained in the previous video, you expand the four with the bracket, not the three. I know it seems like a silly, um, cautious information to say, but um, I do see students making that mistake because we're so used to the brackets being on the left side rather than the right side of the bracket. So. Um, these two are being multiplied to each other. So I have 4x minus 4. You can use n if you want. I'm just, um, I want you to get comfortable with different letters as well. Then I'm going to simplify it. So I get negative 3 minus 4. That's negative 7 plus 4x. And then we're going to get, we're going to solve the equation. So dealing with the negative 7 first. Um, and so we have 81 plus 7 equal to 4x and so I have 88 is equal to 4x and then finally divide by 4 and we get uh, 22 so the position of 81 is 22 it's the 22nd number and always ask yourself can I check my answer yes you can if I just substitute 22 into the formula so I go 22 minus 1, that's uh, 21, and then 21 uh, times 4, I'm cheating using my calculator, that's 84. 84 minus 3, that would give me 81. So y make sure you check your answers. It's the easiest way to avoid any um, deduction in the marks. If you got the wrong answer, then maybe something went wrong in between, as long as you've kept the correct um, form. So that's it. That's how you find the term position. Uh, keep in mind if they want the term position, they want the x. If they want to tell you what position is 81 in, um, that's the sort of thing they ask. Another thing they might ask, maybe not, they would, um, they would still want the term position, but they won't phrase it in such a way. Maybe they'll ask you how many terms are in this sequence. 
So this sequence, if you notice, stops at 81, which means 81 is the last number. If I line up a couple of people in a class list and I ask the last person, what's your number position? Let's assume they know their numbers. And he tells me I'm number 26. Then I would know that actually there are 26 people in the class. So if I could look at 81 and go, what position is 81? And find out it's 22, then I'll know there are 22 numbers in this sequence. So instead of them asking what's the term position, they may ask how many terms are in this, how many terms are there in this sequence? Uh, how many terms, the wording might be off, but anyways. Um, so you're gonna substitute, again, you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna look at 81. So it doesn't specifically ask for 81, but you understand that you need to look at the last term, which is 81. If you find out its position, you'll find out how many numbers. You go through the same process, it gives you 22, and you'll know that there are 22 numbers in the sequence. Um, so that's just a tip and a hint in case uh, questions are phrased differently.